You recently um, published a paper, your lab recently um, published a paper where you had taken mice, male mice, and give, given them a, a cyclic ketogenic diet. Yes. So that started in midlife? Yeah, actually it started at one year old. Uh, one year old. So this okay. is about a third of their normal lifespan. So okay. that would be the equivalent of a 30 year old uh, human. Okay. And, um, and, and you found that it, so exactly what you found that they increased the health span of these animals yes. and yes. also there was some effect on the brain? Yes. Very interesting data uh, suggesting, again, the whole experiment started on the idea, on the observation that there are many similarities between uh, what happens during ketosis on a ketogenic diet and what happens on calorie restriction. Uh, or, or fasting. And so we, uh, with a, a colleague in the lab, John Newman, a number of years ago, we started asking the question, you know, could, would mice on, on a ketogenic diet live longer? So we um, spent about a year and a half with John trying to uh, identify the conditions where these mice would be on a fat and protein diet, essentially had zero carbohydrates after one year of age. The problem that we had initially is that they actually loved the stuff, so they would uh, just devour this this diet, and uh, and they got fat. So we were worried that by becoming obese, we would sort of counterbalance the beneficial of effects of the ketogenic diet. So we spent a bit of time trying to solve this. Eventually, um, we're able to put them one week on, one week off, and uh, that resulted in a stable uh, weight uh, in the mice, and that allowed us to look at their health span and lifespan at the end of their lives. And what we saw was um, uh, an increased medium lifespan by about 10%. So the early mortality was decreased, but eventually they ended up having no increase in maximum lifespan. Uh, we also found a number of other uh, uh, variables associated with health span that were significantly increased, in particular memory. Uh, these mice, uh, the most remarkable thing we saw is that these older mice on, on the ketogenic diet showed actually better memory than younger mice. Uh, wow. And, and, and certainly did not see the loss of memory function that one would normally see yeah. associated with the aging process. So I think it was a pretty profound observation uh, I should say also John Ramsey and his colleague at UC Davis uh, conducted the same type of experiment, except that uh, instead of um, uh, putting the mice on a cycling one week on, one week off diet, they allotted fixed portions to the mice. So they couldn't overeat. They right. gave them the same amount of calories that they would have been eating had they been on a, on a normal diet. And so th these mice did not get fat and were continuously on the on the ketogenic diet, and what they saw is essentially parallel to what we saw, but the effects were even a little better, which suggests that um, the cycling might have been actually a bit stressful for the mice over the long run. And so I think um, we're very excited by these two studies because they, they were conducted independently. We found out only that we were pursuing the same thing right at the end at the time of publishing, and then we decided to coordinate publication of the stories, and they came out in the same journal together. So uh, I think they both reinforce each other. There is really clearly uh, uh, intriguing biology there happening. And, uh, and this was the first time that this had been reported.